Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will guide you how to configure interface and how to create line to line policy and how to create objects. I have mentioned on my PPT. Uh, you can see here energy test trends. Today, I will discuss about uh, 14 gate related topics how to configure interface, how to create object, how to create line to line firewall rule. If, uh, if in your network there is two LAN networks like one is 192, 168, 1.1 and another one is 10.10 .10 something series then if you want to communicate between both LAN so you need to create one rule for these so how can be set up let's discuss in this video so we need to just I am going to my firewall I am on the firewall uh, first we need to create uh, uh, first we need to check interfaces so as my case I am in the interface as you can see there are three interfaces up 1, 2 and 3 one interface 1 is my LAN interface 2 is my LAN and interface 3 NA it is not it's still not configured and port 1 is my WAN so I will create firewall rule for port number 2 to port number 3 so already my port one line is configured so I need to configure port number 3 interface and you can see here my interface LAN IP is 10.10.100.1 and uh, my port 3 interface not yet configured so we need to just click on right click on the interface click on edit once you click on edit you need to uh, give name internal port 3 so that I can remember and here we don't need to click anything on the VRFID but role under the role once you click then you need to define what is the role so as in my case I am creating LAN role so I will select on LAN then uh, here we need to add our network so I am creating line 192.168.100.1 slash 255.2 sorry dot 255 dot 255 dot 0 once you create it then it's look like this and then you need to enable HTTPS if you want required then HTTPS SSH if required then you can enable it otherwise you can as per your, as per your case you can choose once you done these setups then you can you need to scroll down if you need required DSCP on this line then you can use but I don't want to create DSCP so in this case now I am going to click on below and everything looks like good and then we need to hit on ok once you hit on ok you can see my port internal port 3 is configured and ip 192.168.100.1 slash 255.255.0 this is my network ip mask and port 2 is 10.10.100.1 so i am going to create i am going to create a policy for both LAN port so how can we do that first we need to create object for uh, which you want to uh, where we want to send request so in this my case i am creating for line to line rule so uh, we need to click on uh, we need to go in the policy object under the policy object address and here uh, you will see a lot of address details but here we need to create new one and give name internal port 2 and interface type internal port 2 ip range 10.10.100.1 10 dash 10.10.100. 10 sorry 100.254 and click on ok so we have created one sorry i need to i have missed port I have created uh, one port 2 interface and then I need to create one another object for port 3 so internal port 3 and uh, port 3 
and IP range 10 dot sorry 192 168 100 dot 1 dash 192 dot 168 100 dot 254 this is my network range and I am uh, going to 192 sorry I have missed here and then click I have created two object for both LAN you can see this is a network IP series so now we need to create policy for policy we need to click on firewall policy under the firewall policy you can create new rule and here you need to give LAN to LAN FW policy okay and my incoming interface here port 2 and my outgoing interface is port 3 and source and source you can select see here we have created internal port 2 for this range and another one uh, for uh, this will automatically happen because we need to create another rule so we need to select here and also you can add port 3 we cannot add because it is my destination port so i cannot click and schedule we can click on always accept and here net disable we don't need net rule for here because we will create internal rule and all session record then click on ok sorry here i missed and my destination port is na destination port is port 3 because outgoing interface my port 3 and services i need to create uh, add services and here we will select on all services and accept then click on ok now we have created one rule you can see here it is looks like line to line rule internal port uh, my source port port 2 and destination port port 3 now we need to create again another rule for port 3 will be my source port and destination port port 3 then line to line both side communication will be happen so we need to create another rule where line to line policy policy 2 and my incoming interface here is port 3 and my outgoing interface will be port 2 and source now here you can see source internal port 3 and destination destination will be port 2 and uh, services uh, we can you can select here https but uh, as per my case i am allowing all but you can select uh, as per your required and then accept and net rule is not required for line to line then uh, disable this one and create one so we have create two uh, two policy mm, just it's not save i think there is some mistake i don't know line to line policy three okay here it will display you can see uh, we have created two rule one rule is uh, our source port here port 2 and another rule you can see source port 3 and destination port first rule for uh, 3 port and second rule port 3 so it looks like this if you have uh, multiple LAN network on your uh, uh, firewall ports then you can create for uh, line to line communications and here uh, where i am uh, created a ip range here you can select which uh, system want to communicate that network then you can create uh, as per mac based policy or uh, as, uh, create you can create or ip based policy but i am not recommending uh, for ip based because this is i am just created uh, range id but if you have uh, for uh, 192.168.100.1 one series networks where three to four system then you can you just take it mac address and put it here don't select ip range then select mac address and same do for port 3 
so you can configure best way and this is the right communications if you need anything else regarding this please email me chat me definitely i will help you thank you so much for watching my youtube channel video jai hind